What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Son of Attack once again. And today I wanted to go over how to mine AID pin. Now, AID pin is a new cryptocurrency that is mineable and it utilizes the Kapow algorithm, which means it's naturally ASIC resistant. It currently has no listings on any exchange, so you can consider this a speculative mine. However, if you take a look at the hash rate currently on the network, it is higher than a lot of other Kapow coins that are already listed on an exchange. So you will need to use a pool. The good news is, is that because it's Kapow, it's very easy to get up and running. And today we're gonna show you how. I'll cover the actual token and what it is and does in a different video. Please let me know if you're interested in that in the comment section below. So first things first, you're gonna to need to head to the website at ai-dpin.org and you can have a general overview. Then you're gonna to wanna to head on over to the wallet tab and download the Windows wallet. But before you do that, if you're on a Windows machine, you are going to run into some issues with the antivirus potentially. So I always recommend that you do not install any mining software or wallets on a machine that you have any personal information on or financial information on, as it is very hard to basically determine if there are any vulnerabilities within the software that we are unaware of, due to the fact that almost all cryptocurrency software is flagged as a virus by most antivirus softwares. That being said, to do this, what we're going to do is just right click and say new and folder, and we're gonna name it AI D-Pin and press enter. Now, we're going to go down to the search bar and we're gonna search for virus and go to our virus and threat protection within Windows. A screen like this will pop up and we are going to scroll down and click manage settings. From here, we're going to scroll down again and click add or remove exclusions. You will get a pop-up for Windows security and you'll say yes to that. And then you'll click add an exclusion, click folder, go to the desktop and the folder you just created and say select folder. That will add it essentially to your exclusions and you will not get flagged in the antivirus. Next, we will go back to our window and click the download on the Windows wallet. It will pop up asking us where to save it. And remember, we want to save it in the folder we just created that has the exclusion. We're gonna click save and you'll see up here that it's downloaded. We're gonna go ahead and go to the folder. We are going to right click and say extract all. It will give us the extract all option here. We're gonna say extract and then we can double click the application to run it. It will say that it Windows is protecting it. You're gonna say more info and say run anyways. And this is a standard QT wallet. Upon opening the wallet, it's gonna ask you if you would like to basically recover or create a new one. We're gonna select create a new one and click accept. And then we're gonna click the generate new seed words. And then we want to either write these down in a safe location or copy them, put them in a notepad and then save them to an encrypted USB or to an encrypted cloud storage like Nord Locker, with the safest being writing it down and storing it in a fireproof safe. You can then do an optional extension word that will secure it even more if you like. I'm going to go ahead and skip that for this particular tutorial just because it's not needed because we're gonna burn this wallet anyway. So I'm gonna click accept and then it's going to basically come into here and it will start syncing. And then we want to click the receive tab. We're going to label it mining. And then we are going to click request payment. It will generate us a wallet address. So we're going to copy this address. We can go ahead and open a notepad for all of our little notes that we want and paste that address in here. And then we are good to go to the next step. Now, currently there are basically a bunch of different miners that support Kapow. Today, we're gonna to go over utilizing SRB Miner, which will support you if you are on AMD or NVIDIA. But I would be amiss if I didn't tell you guys that the best performing miner on NVIDIA currently with my tests is T-Rex Miner version 26.8. And the best miner for AMD GPUs 
via my testing currently is Team Red Miner version 10.20. That being said, you don't lose a lot if you're headed over to SRB Miner, and SRB Miner will work on both AMD and NVIDIA, and it will also work on mixed rigs without you having to set two different miners within your flight sheet in Hive OS. So today we're gonna go over SRB Miner. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to do it on Windows as well, and then we'll move on to Hive OS. So on Windows, you're gonna to wanna to check the description below and head on over to the GitHub for SRB Miner. Scroll down on their release page and find the release for Windows 64 and click that. Once again, it's going to ask you where you want to download it, and we want to download it into our AID pin folder that we put an exception for within Windows and click Save. Once it's downloaded, we're going to go ahead and browse to that folder. We're going to right click and say extract all. It will pop up a window asking where we want to extract it, and we want to make sure it's within the same folder that has the virus exception. And then we want to double click and go into SRB Miner. From here, there are a lot of different options for pre-configured batch files. And really the easiest way to get going here is to find the one for Ravencoin if you can. Let's see if it's in here. I don't see Raven. Or we might just need to find one that has anything to do with Kapow. There we go. Okay, so NUR AI is essentially going to have the presets that we need. So we're going to right click, say show more options, and then click edit. Once we're in here, there's just a few things that we need to change. We're going to change the pool, the wallet address, and then we're good to go. So to find the pool, I actually already have a pool pulled up here, but you can choose one over on miningpoolstats.stream. And you can see here that if you browse through, you'll have essentially the payout type, which we've covered in videos before, the fee that the pool charges, in this case 0.6%, with our plant being 1%, and some mining pool guy mining pool at 0.5%. The goal is to spread out the hash rate as a responsible GPU miner, so pick accordingly and don't basically centralize all your hash rate onto our plant, that wouldn't be a great idea. So today we're gonna to show you guys some mining pool and here on their web page, we're gonna to go to the connect button and it's gonna give us the stratum and information that we need. Now, for SRB miner, we don't need to specify, specify stratum plus TCP. So we're gonna copy everything after the last forward slash, go back to our batch file over here and paste that after the pool right here. And as long as you have the port and the URL, you'll be good to go. And then we're gonna go back to that file that we saved our address to and copy that out and put that right here. The algorithm will remain Kapow and we're gonna click file and save as. And we're going to essentially click down and say all files, make sure the extension is .bat. And then we are going to basically change this to AIDP.bat and click save. If you don't have file extensions turned on, you will need to do that, meaning you don't see the .bat portion of these files. You'll want to go into File, Explore Options, click the View tab, go to the Hidden Files and Folders, make sure you're showing those already and uncheck the option here for hide extensions for known file types, click apply and okay, and you will be off to the races and see the .bat file. So now that we have that running, we can go back to the folder that we had open. We will go into SRB Miner, and then we will scroll down and find the one that says AIDP, which will actually be at the top, making it very simple, and double click that to begin mining and then it will go through the process. This is just a laptop with a RTX 2060 in it, so I don't expect much out of it, but you will show connected, and then it will begin mining, and then you will be off to the races. In this particular case, it looks like we're gonna need to stop this pretty quick because it is trying to freeze up the system because we are recording on the same system as well, so I'm gonna go ahead and do Control C. Control C, we'll cancel it. We'll type Y for yes and press enter. And then if we want to see how well we are doing on the mining, 
we can go back to the mining pool, go to the stats button, or is it the dashboard? Dashboard, yep. Go to the dashboard here, copy the address out, paste it into here, and we can see our wallet stats. And it will show us our hash rate and how much we've earned, etc. Now, for HiveOS, it's going to be pretty simple as well. So, in HiveOS, you're going to hit your flight sheets. You're going to select Ravencoin for your coin. You're going to click Add Wallet. You're going to paste the address in from the notepad that we put paste, pasted it in. Name it whatever you like and then click create. From here, you're going to go to the pool and click configure in miner. You're going to select the miner for SRB miner. I'm gonna start typing it out there and then click set up miner config. Now for the wallet, we can just say use the wallet we have, but for the pool and server, because we don't have a pool or official mining support for this yet, you will need to manually type that in so you can go back to the pool find the server that you want to go to copy that out and paste that into your pool server and port password can be x or blank it really doesn't matter and then we can click the apply changes and then name it aidp and click create flight sheet then from here we're going to go to our workers we're going to highlight our workers we're going to select the flight sheet, show more coins. We'll look for Raven coin, if I can here. They're not in alphabetical order, making this fun. Oh, it's the very first one. Of course it is. And then we're going to find the AID pin one right here, this top one. Click that and click apply, and it will change the flight sheet. If you want to monitor the process, you can click into the rig or highlight it. Click Hive Shell Start. Once it's ready, you'll click it and click the web link. It will open Hive Shell for you and you can type miner and that will open it and you can monitor it and make sure that it begins mining. Might take a little bit. We can do that with our other rig as well. It did connect to the pool. It's found all of the GPUs, creating the DAG. And then it'll display your hash rate for all your GPUs and you'll be good to go. Once again, you can go back to the pool, hit the that or the stats page or yeah, the dashboard page, paste in the wallet address you're mining with and click the load stats and you'll be off to the races. So thanks for watching. That is how you mine AI D-Pin on AMD and NVIDIA GPUs on Windows 11, as well as Hive OS. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. If you need additional support, go check out my community at sonofatech.locals.com where everybody is more than happy to help you out with over 750 current members. And don't forget to check out my crypto mining e-course before it goes away in December at sonofatech.com. Dot com. I will see you next Tuesday.